welcome back. We've been joined by Dr. Ajay Hachandani. All right, Ajay, welcome to the show. Thank you, William. Morning. Good morning, Ajay. Um, now we're here to discuss your book. Yes. Okay. Well, we have to do a little bit of history because okay. most people might have never seen you around Belize. Mm. And um, you're a Belizean? Yeah, I was born in Belize, raised, went to um, high school, up to high school here, and then I went over to the U.S. for university. Uh, came back, did med school in Belize, and then uh, decided to do the world tour of medicine that took me to England, Canada, and all across the U.S. And after that was all over, stayed behind, worked on my medical license. So I am actually a U.S. certified uh, doctor. I have my medical license and everything. And in between, um, I took some time off and I decided, you know what? I am. I had this project growing in my head and uh, I went with it. So I'm actually a trained physician. I have no training in writing. And all of a sudden one morning I woke up, I'm like, I think I'm going to start writing a book today. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up one morning and said, I think I want to write a book. Well, I had the idea going actually um, about four years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I write for a magazine and I had this idea toying around back and forth. I attempted the project once and uh, it didn't work out as I planned. It was supposed to be a humor article. And then uh, earlier last year, I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. Let me try it. Sat down, started writing, and I, I didn't stop. I just went at a furious pace. And I, I belted out 240 pages in two months. And most authors take a year, two years before they finish a book. And I, I gave myself a deadline. I'm like, um, you know what? I have 61 days to finish this book. And that I worked with me anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, just writing, writing throughout the night, early mornings, random hours. There was no set hours. I had no work hours. 4 o'clock in the morning, I'd be awake writing. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I'd be fast asleep, waking up time for breakfast. So it just took that random course. Mm -hmm. And so how did your family react to this? Um, they were surprised. Mm -hmm. But my family knows me good enough by now that they don't put it past me. Um, the random nonsense that I've done in the past. <laughs> Sounds like we have some stories to put. Yeah, I'll leave it there. They're pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so the book is called The Even Stranger Case of Dr. Ajay and Mr. Hachandani. Is it some sort of a biography? Um, no. The, the title was taken off of um, The Stranger Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mm -hmm. It plays off of that dual personality. It's the same person, two different personalities. One guy's the good guy, one guy's the bad guy. Who mm -hmm. was the bad guy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll leave that up to the reader to decide. <laughs> All right, well They're both really good guys. Just one's misunderstood by society. Let's put it that way. Okay. So what's the concept of the book? Um, like I said, it, start, it was uh, supposed to be a humor-based uh, book. And mm -hmm. uh, I went on the Indian wedding website, posted uh, a profile with the guy with the mustache. Or, or the, the I believe you got pictures of this. Yeah, yeah the, the mustache <laughs> guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> posted that, contacted 50 girls to see what their response would have been. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, not one single one accepted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then I waited a month, posted the second profile, and then um, contacted the same 50 girls to see what they would have said. Mm -hmm. Within, I mean, I think within two weeks, 30-something had said yes right off the bat. Oh, this is the difference between the two profiles now. Yes, and okay. the one with the mustache term, El Sexy Beast, mm -hmm. um, was the first one that got no response, surprisingly. <laughs> The second one was the current me, and uh, that got out of the 50, I think 34 had said yes. Mm -hmm. But what caught me off guard was that on these, any dating websites or anything, the girls have the potential to contact you. With the first profile, only one girl contacted me, which scared me a little bit because <laughs> <laughs> if she liked that guy, I think I should stay away from her. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but believe me, uh -huh. there's some strange people on that website. Uh -huh. Anyway, so the, the second profile, uh, within a matter of four months, uh, 450 girls had contacted, expressing interest. And this is not only for dating. I mean, the website itself is based for marriage. So these that's are, within the Indian tradition. Yeah, within the community. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a, it was a, kind of a shock because I wasn't planning on that. And I actually had to write another section of the book addressing that factor like you know but I did it again just in a humorous kind of way yeah. and it, it's really weird because you know guys go walking to a bar see a bunch of girls they'll go talk to them and not pick up one single phone number 
And these are random girls on the internet all of a sudden sending you their phone numbers, emails, their with addresses. With the intention of marriage. Yeah, with the intention of marriage. Okay. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, um, yeah, sweetie, you're going a little bit too fast for me. Okay. But just, just for clarification, because uh -huh. it's one of the things that I was stumped on as well when I first saw the book, the mustached picture. Yeah. Is actually you. Yes, that is me. I was no Photoshop. No nothing. photoshopping, nothing. That was uh, yeah. <laughs> Pull that one up, Rick. <laughs> okay. That was me when I was seventeen. Uh -huh. That was a picture that was actually um, taken from my SJC ID. Mm -hmm. So there, this there was no, this wasn't even a digital picture printing before shop. This mm -hmm. was straight up mustache guy, mm -hmm. <laughs> seventeen mm -hmm. years old and. Looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't have uh, within our culture um, the same, you know, um, looking for marriage. Mm -hmm. But we do look to hook up. Yeah. People mm -hmm. have high five, MySpace, <laughs> yeah. Facebook, whatever. I think it speaks to how important a picture is mm -hmm. at selling you. I, it's, it's that very um, primitive notion that, you know, what we see, we start, you know, that, like, don't judge a book by cover, which, by the way, judge this book by its cover, it's a good book. <laughs> uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, a girl could, and a guy could give up the possibility of an amazing relationship with somebody based off of looks. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say, you know what, um, we're superficial creatures in that sense because we only look for looks, but they ha you have to have that initial chemistry. Mm -hmm. um, Chemistry yeah. or mm. a attraction? Because I don't know about chemistry. <laughs> I, mean, I it's, think it's it has to do with attraction. Attraction, you know. You like what you see. It's like a plate of food. Yeah. Right? You approach it it's like that. It's enticing or it's yeah. not enticing. But then again, you know, after a certain point, you get hungry enough, you'll, <laughs> but I, you'll I guess, eat anything. <laughs> I guess what we're getting at is that if we think of it in terms of the, the plate of food, the I'm contents are there. the same. You actually, I'm not going there. <laughs> The content is exactly the same because your profiles that you posted yeah. for the both was We're with the same, same information. Yes, and, and this is where a bit of the... Same age, the Yeah, same yeah, there, there was no discrepancy. And this is where a little bit of the scientific background came mm -hmm. out. Where I made sure that there were no other variables. So somebody will read it and say, you know what? Well, this was different, this was different. There were The variables were the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to give an example, the first profile was a little bit like I, I put some serious content in there. The second profile I put nonsense. I put I compared myself to a vegetarian egg roll and general chowed chicken mm -hmm. and a brown. You know, I just put nonsense in there and people found it funny, but that's because they got to that point. You know, you're not gonna give somebody a chance to get to know you to that uh, to that level unless you actually think, you know what? Hey, that person's kinda cute. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. So you post this you post this profile and, mm -hmm. and um the women respond to it and mm -hmm. The book is chronicling whatever uh, yes. conversations, online conversations you well, had. Well, I, I didn't want to um, be too big of a bastard to these girls, so <laughs> I just did the contacting, and and then I would I didn't really get into any conversations with them because then that would be giving them false hope, which I didn't want. I just I sp just did the contacting and then see what the response was, and then left it there. Mm -hmm. Now what happened was several girls they kept on emailing and insisting, "This is my phone number, please call me. This is my phone number, please call me." And I, I, you know, I went, I just went, and I felt really bad. So towards the end, like one or two of them, I had to like actually write back and tell them, you know, really sorry. I, I had to say no, or I didn't contact you, but this was the premise as to why I was on here. Mm -hmm. And the majority of them were very understanding. One or two of them had choicey words for me, which mm -hmm. I can't say on family television, 